published 1730 est the 7th of January the 2018 updated 0702 est the 8th of January the 2018 the decision review system for the Ashes which has angered England players throughout the series with its inconsistency broke down during play in the fifth test at Sydney the amateurish incident occurred on the third day as Australia batted when hotspot was out of use for 20 minutes before it could be rebooted there were suggestions there had been a second malfunction for a similar period. But the ICC officials, who manage the DRS process, are only admitting to one clangor, which is bad enough in this technological age. Johnny Bairstow thinks the technology must be used uniformly across cricket and ICC spokesman said the hotspot link went down for about 20 minutes. It was fine after it came back on. Fortunately there were no referrals during the time it was out of action, the ICC would not comment on them endorsing the unreliable New Zealand-produced Eagle Eye system chosen by host broadcaster Channel 9, which seems a lot less trustworthy than the more expensive Hawkeye product used in England. Hawkeye has also proved extremely reliable judging tennis line calls and is used uniformly throughout the sport at major tournaments, a situation that England's Johnny Bairstow has insisted must also be the case with cricket. The decision review system's inconsistency has frustrated England player Skevin Peterson's agent Adam Wheatley, who has left the sports agency business, also looked after Surrey and Botham. And Wheatley believes Botham will end his career as a Sky pundit after the next Ashes in 2019, and that Sky will make him an ambassador for life. England paceman Stuart Broad is his most likely replacement from within the current England team. A spokesman for Botham said Adam Wheatley is entitled to his opinion, but he hasn't worked with Ian for some time. Nothing has changed with Sky. Stuart Broad is the most likely replacement of Ian Botham as a Sky pundit if he steps down the huge success of the Pink Test at Sydney and raising money for breast cancer care nurses in memory of Glenn McGrath's first wife Jane contrasts with the inferior Blue Day at the Oval. The English Cricket United version suffers from the confusion of having three charities, Lord's Taverners, Chance to Shine and the Professional Cricketers Association Benevolent Fund, sharing the proceeds, and Chance to Shine's mission to spread the power of cricket through schools and charities is clearly not working. Nor is the ECB's huge investment in recreational cricket. The Pink Test at Sydney has been a huge success in raising awareness for breast cancer. It was noticeable that insipid, irritant pundit Shane Warne has been rather exercised talking about England leg spinner Mason Crane, whom he was advising to bowl more like himself than Crane's Aussie mentor Stuart McGill. Warne likes to be the gospel for all leg spinners, so it probably annoys him Crane is guided by McGill. The 46-year-old McGill advises Crane to pull out of any delivery that doesn't feel right, which he does regularly. Whether Maverick McGill is the right guide for an impressionable 20-year-old is another matter. Mason Crane is advised by Stuart McGill, which probably annoys Shane Warne carry on blundering. Two of the biggest sporting fiascos of 2017 have been England surrendering the Ashes in three straight tests and the FA's handling of the Anyaluko Mark Sampson affair. Yet remarkably it looks increasingly likely there will be no high-profile casualty for either debacle. The ECB will seemingly turn a blind eye to this doomed test tour provided the clearly prioritised white ball matches go well. And the raft of changes the FA will announce this week in the wake of the England women's team troubles, to be rubber-stamped by the FA Council, will not see many, if any, heads roll. There will be a new head of diversity at the FA, who will occupy a senior position in the management team, plus various changes at St George Park, where FA Technical Director Dan Ashworth will lose responsibilities for women's football.